everyone, I'm Laura Gale Locke with your City 7 News Now update. Well, we are very pleased today to have the newest Wichita City Council member here with us, Jeff Bluebaugh. He's the representative for District 4. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thanks a lot, Laura Gale. Appreciate it. Well, first, um, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I've lived here in Wichita for a little over 20 years now. I was originally, I was raised in Harper County. I was mm -hmm. a farm boy, raised in a rural area. And once I got out of high school, I got a job up at Cessna and was commuting back and forth. I did that for five years. And as I started to go back to school to earn my bachelor's and master's degree, it made it a lot easier just to live in Wichita mm -hmm. since I was spending all my time working and going to school at night. And I always thought I would move back to the farm and build a house out there. And I guess I've become to love <laughs> Wichita more and more because I decided just to stay here. And, and, and I'm very happy with my choice. I love living in Wichita, it's a great city. Was that what made you decide to run for city council? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a combination of things. Here, um, a couple years ago, I ran for school board in Goddard. I um, had some particular issues that, you know, I, I wanted to have a better understanding of. And, and whenever I worked at Cessna, I traveled pretty extensively. I was traveling about three weeks a month. And after I left Cessna, my wife told me, she said, if you're going to, I went in business for myself, selling real estate. And she said, if, if you're going to, um, be home more often. I, I want to see you giving back more to your community. So I ran for the school board and got to know a lot of my legislators and stuff in Topeka. And I decided that, you know, local government was probably going to be a better fit for me. And mm -hmm. um, I've learned a lot, definitely have. There's, there's a lot of similarity, both similarities and differences between how businesses ran and how cities ran. But I think it, it's good to have diverse experience for both. So for people out there who might be wondering, what is it like to be a council member? Tell us about the past two months. <laughs> it's, 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 it's really um, a great educational experience. You learn things that you would never you know, normally learn. You know, obviously it's a part-time position, but you know, everybody told me it's gonna be 40 to 60 hours a week, and it's, mm -hmm. it, it, it is a very intense schedule. Um, you know, every morning, First thing I do is, you know, you're grabbing your iPad, you're, you're, you're checking to see what messages you have from constituents. Um, you usually have some meetings around midday in the morning. Obviously, on Tuesdays is kind of a, a full day with your city council meetings. You'll have different lunches with, um, you know, constituents or business owners in the area. And then usually every evening there's some kind of homeowners association meeting or something like that. It's just, it's a lot of visibility in the community. You look at, you know, District 4 in particular, you're representing around 60,000 people and it's a very diverse um, area. You know, I know it goes from Douglas south to the Hayesville city limits and just east of Seneca all the way to the Goddard city limits. So you've got several different demographic areas mm -hmm. and several different, um, groups of folks that, that want certain things and, and you're their representative and they want to know that they can communicate with you. And so based on the feedback that you've probably been hearing for them, what are some of your priorities? Obviously, I think the top thing right now is water. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is bigger than any issue I think that we've had in the past and that we'll have in the future. And yeah, we're at a snapshot right now, we're in a drought situation, but even if we do get the rain, we cannot take water for granted and there's a lot of different ways on how we should go forward with that, but the first thing is we need to conserve, we need to lead by good example. So I think water is number one issue. Whenever I was out on the campaign trail, a lot of it was jobs, and people were either unemployed or underemployed, and it all kind of works together, you know, you've, you've gotta have the jobs, you've gotta have stable employment, We've got to have the real estate values going up to mm -hmm. ensure you know we have the tax base to take care of our streets. Um, some of the issues more, I've, I heard more issues about residential streets than what I did some of the major streets. So those those were kind of some of the big issues. Um, I did get pretty, per, folks were pretty happy with the police department in District Four. They felt like under the resources they have, they, they do a pretty good job. So it's great to hear. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So, yeah, it's not all bad. There's, there's a lot of good <laughs> feedback out there, too. Mm -hmm. So if people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? The, the best way is probably just send me an email at jbluebaugh at wichita.gov. That's J-B-L-U-B-A-U-G-H at wichita.gov. And one, one of the biggest eye-openers I understand now is 
when you send an email to a city councilman or you send it to the mayor, it does get read and it gets read by us. And, you know, I've, I've received probably hundreds of emails already and I, I take every message that I have and I'm, I'm a very analytical person. I was a Six Sigma black belt whenever I was at Cessna. And basically, you try to base your decisions on data. And anytime someone sends me an email, I cut and paste the text, I put it into an Excel spreadsheet, and I keep track of how many times I hear about that same issue, whether it's a residential street, a pothole, something with you know one of the city services, and I try to gauge to where in the future, I hope six months, 12 months down the road, and, and, and I also send that stuff to the city manager and, and staff members as well, and I hope to follow the trend. I hope I don't continue to hear the same issues over and over again. If I do, then I'm not doing a good job of, of moving the message forward. Well, it sounds like a great system and one that should be very reassuring to the <laughs> public to know that their emails and their voices really are heard. Yeah, they, they really are. That's mm -hmm. th th that's exciting to me to see that, you know, if, if somebody takes the time to write three or four paragraph message, they want to make sure it's being heard. And, and I want people to know that, that your message is being heard. Your elected officials are taking a look at that and they are trying to act in the best interest of the city. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you'd like people to know or maybe share what you like most about this new role? <laughs> um, I, I just, you know, get involved, um, call me, email me, do, you know, we want to hear from you. We mm -hmm. want the feedback and we want to communicate with you because we're the elected official to make the decisions for the folks of our area and um, we need to base those on your feedback and what you want. All right. Well, thank you so much okay. for being here. It's thank been you. great getting to <laughs> talk with you and you'll hear a little bit more about you. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. And thank you for watching the City 7 News Now Update.